What's going on my friends? Thank you guys for tuning in for another video. Um, I do want to start a podcast here, uh, but I want you guys to to help me out with a name of the podcast. We're going to be bringing on uh, some guests here and there. I do have a couple of friends that happen to be pastors that have helped me in my life, that have helped me with decisions in life, with I just can't thank them enough. So that's why I want to bring them on the podcast. Uh, you know, I know their schedule is busy, but um, I want to bring them on the podcast. And this podcast is going to be raw. Like I'm going to try not to edit most of the uh, of the podcast. And, uh, you know, I, I want to uh, create a community of strong minded people that want to get closer to God. Uh, especially the youth, the youth, I feel like we need to um, get together, get together, let go of our egos, let go of our anything that's weighing us down. I know a lot of us young people, man, we we uh, we tend to, to struggle a lot with anxiety, depression, um, a lot of social media stuff that goes around that we sometimes can't handle when we think we can, but we can't psychologically it plays you know things in our head that it's it's just crazy but today i wanted to talk about how and this was a long time ago where i read this devotional i can't remember exactly what uh, uh how it how it how it was written but the gist of it is us as young people that are trying to get closer to god that are christians it's hard to find friendships out there that want to share the same idea. A lot of times, I'm not, and it's a very touchy subject because I don't want you guys to, to, to take out of this where I'm saying don't have any friends that are non-Christian. Like, I'm not saying that at all, but there's a fine line where we can, we, we have to keep friends because that, you know, we need to bring Jesus to those people, but at the same time, we can't let them influence our life. Uh, sometimes, uh, or most of the time, you know, when I was when I was younger, uh, I was almost embarrassed of being a Christian at, at at a certain like point. Like I would never say I'm I'm not an Adventist, I'm not a Christian, but I would always try to not say that I was and I always tried to play with you know play in with whatever they were doing which you know I don't want to really touch into you know you know what you know I used to do or whatever but uh because it's not important um I'm not here to brag on anything because at the end of the day it's not good it's not good for our lives um but I always found myself that I couldn't have friends that were really wanted to get closer to God, like everybody in, in our church, everybody that, um, were, I guess, Christian at one point, whenever they were kids, um, were living their lives just like me, you know, uh, whenever you're young, you just want to experiment. You just want to, you know, just go out in the world and, and, and see what it's all about. And it's hard to, to, to keep each other accountable because there's so much going on in the world where uh, you want to be accepted, where you want to have friends. And if you don't have friends that, you know, that uh, share the same ideas, it's hard to have friends. And you at one point begin to feel lonely, like, like, OK, I'm a Christian, but why do I feel so lonely or why do I not have any friends? And uh, the devotional at that time, whenever I whenever I read it. Says so something about everybody that is going through this are supposed to be praying for each other. I pray for my fellow brothers that want to get closer to God, but cannot seem to find friends that will take them closer to God. And I'll, I'll say this, getting closer to God should be an individual thing, an individual goal. But it helps to have a community. It helps to have somebody that you can reach out saying, hey, I'm, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. And instead of, you know, getting uh, advices, uh, worldly advices are like, oh, you know, like, for example, relationships. Right. As a Christian, 
you know, go into somebody that shares the same ideas, is around your same age group, a little older. Uh, I used to talk to a lot of, uh, of men that were older so that they could share their experiences in life. But just an example, like, you know, you break up with your girlfriend, you, you, you don't know what to do and you go to, you know, your friends that are not Christians, what they're going to say, just, you know, forget about that girl, uh, go have fun and all of this, right? Which, you know, if you go to the Bible, you know, uh, God asks us not to, you know, fornicate, to not, uh, uh, bow down to, uh, you know, our, our, uh, sexual tensions to, um, to really get closer to him. Right. And that's where Christian friendships, this is where all of that can play a big role in our lives. And sometimes, like I said, the youth, sometimes us as young people, sometimes we find it very hard to find friends that share, share our same ideas. And so what I want to encourage you guys is that let's all pray for each other, you know, because it is hard out here. Um, there's so many things, so many temptations. Uh, we're living in the age where it's, I mean, we're getting close to the end and the second coming of Christ is near and we have to prepare ourselves um, and it's very, very, very easy to, to just, to fall. Uh, I say it from personal experience. It's so easy to fall on, you know, and, and there's so many different things that, that we, that we need to, uh, uh, get better at, right? Uh, there's so many things that we can, um, that we can let go, but the only way to let go of this, and I've said it many times in many of my other videos, is getting closer to God. Because if you do it just because it's a rule, just because it's it's something that's right, it's you're gonna get tired of it. You're going to not want to do it, and it's going to be just like a burden for you. So the first thing that I always tell everybody is fall in love with Jesus Christ first. And the only way to do that is be consistent, right? Be consistent with prayer, consistent with devotionals, consistent and 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 spreading the gospel. And that's the only way that you can grow spiritually. You have to work on your spiritual muscles because I compare this to the gym all the time. If I don't take my supplements, which is, you know, protein, uh, you know, uh, creatine, things like that. I cannot expect to make progress in the gym. And especially if I'm not going to the gym, like I can't expect progress when I'm not putting in, you know, the work for my muscles to grow. Same thing with our spiritual life. It's easy to go one day without reading devotional. Sometimes, sometimes I'm going to be straight, you know, honest with you guys. Sometimes I don't even want to read it, but I get up, I pray. And I go ahead and open my devotional and sharing it with someone, you know, sharing it on this platform helps me stay accountable. And sometimes I don't see the uh, when I start, first started, I didn't see any difference. I, I just kind of felt like uh, like uh, let's let's see what 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 this uh, what this does to my life. And I've been reading the devotional. I'm on day 10 and I could tell you this right now. I think less of what I used to like the thoughts that I used to have less depression, less, less of everything that would bring me down. Um, and it's the Holy spirit. The Holy spirit is working in me, but I have to keep going. I can't just because I, I can't just quit now. Like the spiritual life is an everyday battle. Every single day you have to have the word of God, prayer, all of that with you. Because if you don't, like I said, it's very, very easy to fall into uh, the enemy's traps. And, uh, you know, once you once you realize you're 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 back on square one and you're feeling empty again and it's just not a good feeling. And and I just want to encourage all of my all of my friends, all of my youth, everybody that's subscribed to the channel. I want to see you guys as a community, as somebody that we can all bring uh, bring ourselves together to God. Um, and so I wanted to like I said, I want to create a podcast. I don't know what the name uh for the podcast yet, but I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm brainstorming. And if you guys have any ideas on what I should, I should name the podcast, let me know in the comment section below. 
but I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that sometimes we do feel lonely as 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 fellow young Christians. Well, I'm a, I'm I'm getting close to my 30s, um, but you know what they say: the 30s is new 40s, or 40s is new 30s. I don't know what they say. I completely messed that up, but I f I still feel young. My point is, I still feel young. I still feel like. I'm still 19, 20, even though, you know, physically my age, I'm, I'm about to be 30, but I've been there. I want to support the youth. I want to, um, hear, hear them out and want to be able to help them out in any kind of way that I can. And so anytime you guys are going through anything, send me a message. I'll have my email, um, at, in the description, send me a message and uh i'm always down to talk you know i'm always down to talk i'm always down to help anybody that is in need because at the end of the day when i help someone out um, when i share the word of god it makes me feel better so i'm only helping myself and i'm not perfect i always tell you this guy guys i'm not perfect but we do have a perfect god and that's who i'm trying to be okay that's who i'm trying to be like and uh it's a journey the christian life is a journey full of obstacles if the christian life was easy everybody would do it everybody would do it but the enemy knows exactly what our weaknesses are the enemy knows everything i don't want to give him too much credit because we're not here to talk about that i want to talk about the power of god the power of of, of faith the power of of prayer to avoid temptation to be able to grow spiritually spiritually and uh I just want you guys to know that I want you guys to succeed in your spiritual life because it's it's an amazing feeling once you start, you know, reading the Bible, once you start to to get closer to God, you start feeling joy in your heart. And I want you guys to experience that too. And so let's grow spiritually spiritually together. Let's pray for one another. Um, because like I said, it does get seem to get lonely sometimes. Whenever I do go to churches, um, sometimes I don't see any, any, any youth, any youth at all. Uh, and I want to, to, to pray. I want everybody to pray for the youth. The youth needs prayer. The youth needs to come together and spread the word of God because the end is near and we need to be prepared. So let me know what you guys think of the, uh, of a podcast name. And like I said, I want you guys to know that uh, this is a community that we can all, you know, talk to each other, uplift each other. And, uh, you know, with that being said, let me know if you know any names for the podcast. And uh, I'll, I'll try to make one weekly. Um, sometimes I do get inspired and make a video really quick and I can uh, make an episode and, and share it with you guys. But I'm going to try to post at least one episode uh, every week. Um Stay blessed, pray, read the Bible, and we'll see you guys in the next video.